Hello. Hi, Lens. <laughs> Hi, Sonnet. Hello. What's going on? How are you guys? I'm good. Good. I'm You're so safe, good. Safe. <laughs> so good at home, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do, as we always do on the podcast, can you set the scene where you are, what you're doing? Sonnet, why don't you start? Um, yeah, I'm in Merida, Georgia. I'm um, with my parents, with my dog, Bagel. Um, <laughs> been here for about a month, and we got back from our last camp. And uh, yeah, so just been in Georgia. I've been training and trying to teach my dog some new tricks. How's that going with the, with the folks? really good um so they were my roommates for about 18 years before um i went to college um and then and then i came back after college like uh, and then now i'm back it's been a month so it's been like a it's been a weird transition but um we're both we're both working through it it's been are pretty they, good are they still cooking meals or are you now cooking for oh them? no i'm cooking the meals now yes they do the, they do the dishes now and then i cook nice that a girl yeah. what's yeah. your specialty um, I cook a lot of salmon, right, Lens? Lens knows I cook a lot of salmon. And then Whoa. last night we did, I made flour tortillas and we did like this shredded chicken in a crock pot. Crock pot is like Ooh. the easiest thing that I wish I would have known like five years ago. <laughs> Lindsay, you should get one. I feel like crock pots are cheating. It's not cheating <laughs> oh, no. if you know, if you know how to use them right. I guarantee you don't know how to use them. So how is that? <laughs> you just throw the stuff in and five hours. Yeah, it just up? it all comes out as mush in the end. <laughs> so good, the best <laughs> mush ever. Best mush ever. Ever. <laughs> all right, Lens, what are you doing? Set the scene, sister. Currently in Denver, Colorado, best state ever. Um, <laughs> I came. I went to Portland for a little bit. Got my dog. Came back here. Ferguson is with me now, and mm. just trying to do whatever I can to stay fit. And yeah. And what does that entail? Running. <laughs> I ran Lots of it. <laughs> six miles the other day, just straight. It was miserable. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, Who so does funny. that anymore, by the way? I run like seven to eight, nine miles a game. So I'm like, oh, I can run six miles outside. Like what, on concrete? Yeah, stupid decision. Whoa. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Whoa. Bad. Whoa. But I killed it. <laughs> Did you? Nice crushed it two days off after that's a long playlist you can send it to us later ferguson ran it with me yeah you what? wish you wish your dog had energy like my dog <laughs> he runs for about a block <laughs> and then he's done. you've ran you've ran your french bulldog uh yeah he chases after the little tennis ball okay nice wait how old is your french bulldog like, he's so cute he's 12 weeks now okay so he's oh. young still. Wow. That's like having a child. How old Good. is Mabel? Six months. Five months. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, she she's did. my 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 sister um was an animal science major and she was trying to be a vet and she was like knows all about dogs and she was like, You're she was like, You just wait. And I was like, wait for what? She was like, They'll have their teenage years. And I go, <laughs> What does that mean? And let me tell you, we're we're deep into the teenagers. She rips up yeah everything everything <laughs> my socks the chair she's yeah. all she's biting the she's biting my parents chairs so they're like you need to get out of here <laughs> baseboards like, are next wait till yeah. that happens i was like no i needed those baseboards <laughs> what what kind of dog is bagel bagel's a and um a blue healer an australian cattle dog so basically you she goes on a five mile walk with my mom every morning wow. and then has hours of energy still left so oh. uh, yeah so it's just like energy 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 mm. it's great all right so for the two of you well wait Linz, you're not with your folks though right no i'm okay i'm not i don't think i could do that <laughs> well i go down to my i go to my condo sometimes it's like a it's like that's like um it's like a nice little vacay you know like i go down to the condo i grab a few things switch out my sweatshirts and my sweatpants <laughs> You know, like kind of like a hotel, maybe stay one night and then come back up here. <laughs> are, you, are you seeing your folks at all, Lens? Yes, we have Scrabble night. Oh, once a week? Nice. Yeah, at my nice. Brother. Okay. So our goal 
is to during this uncertain time, high anxiety time, is to spread a little laughter and joy. So we are asking friends for their favorite funny story. It does not have to be sports related. As you know, who wants to make us snort out loud first? Lindsay probably does, but I'll, I'll start. Yes. Emily, no, let's um, go. I think, I, think we wanted to, I think we want to tell, and I can't remember, I think I was there for this, but. It's definitely been. But maybe you told me about it. So this is the, let's call this the Greyhound story. <laughs> the Greyhound. Um, so Lindsay, yeah, let's just say for the sake of the story, I'm driving, I'm not a very good parallel parker. I don't want to parallel park ever. I will leave 10 minutes early just to find a parking spot that I can just pull straight in and then like do a couple laps. She's perfectly fine at it. She just gets anxiety <laughs> and like gets <laughs> everyone else watching her. It's kind of like, I can't call the pizza man and order pizza. Like, I have to get my mom and, like, my sister to do it. Like, I what won't call her for reservations. What? Like, Lindsay, Lindsay's got to do it. I don't know. It's just, like, this, like, childhood fear. Like, I can't get over it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> parallel parking. We'll discuss that on the next podcast. <laughs> yeah. Calling the pizza man. Why Emily Sonnen has fear. Um, basically, Lindsay, if we're driving, I'm driving. I'll be like, Lindsay, will you get out when you pull it apart? <laughs> and she was like, and, like, she's like, yeah, obviously. Like, I'm so good at it. Yeah, let, let, let me do it. <laughs> That's not what I say. So, like, Lindsay, um, Lindsay, you know, we switch sides. Lindsay gets in the driver's seat, and I think, Lin you turn around. Oh, no, no, you ask, can I fit? Yeah. Well, we found one that was, like, a little bit snug. <laughs> can, can you fit? And we'll, we'll just say, I, I think I was, like, oh, like, you can fit. No, 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 you said, can you fit? And I was just like, yeah, you can. <laughs> the Greyhound thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I go, oh, do you think you can fit? Yeah, I can fit, like, 20 greyhounds, like, in the, in the spot. And I was like, what do you mean 20 greyhounds? Oh, no, no, son, this is what happened. I was like, can I fit? And you say, and you said, no, you can fit a whole greyhound. And I was like, oh, you can fit 20 greyhounds. And I was like, what are you talking about 20 greyhounds? And then, like, I slowly, I'm like, oh, my gosh, she thinks I'm talking about dogs, not, like, the big <laughs> Greyhound buses. And she thinks that, like, uh, like 20 Greyhound dogs <laughs> can fit in this parallel parking. I was just like, oh, my God, Lindsay, like, I meant the bus. But, like, yeah, 20 Greyhounds can definitely fit back here. Oh, I'm sweating. And then she successfully parked because the <laughs> greyhounds could fit in the back. That's exactly oh. what it was. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a good one. That's fantastic. Uh, I see, I see uh, Lynn's has been on a lot of public transportation types of buses in the past. <laughs> I was just like, Lindsay, but you know, when you're like, you're sitting there, you're, like, you're seeing like the gears burn. I was just like, what is she thinking right now? And then I'm probably like, what does she think that I'm thinking right now? <laughs> And I was just like, you're thinking about dogs. I'm thinking about, like, a bus. And she was like, oh, yeah. And then fell off And we went and had dinner or lunch, whatever we were getting. <laughs> so oh, I know. That's what I was going to say. Like, don't keep me on the edge of my seat. Did you fit in the 20 Greyhound space? 100%. Oh, <laughs> Did God. you fit, Lindsay? Yes. Full <laughs> confidence as soon as I knew it was a Greyhound bus. Not coming out. <laughs> That was probably one of your best parallel park jobs. I do want to say Lindsay is, I, I, that's not being really gullible. I think Lindsay is like, Lindsay is pretty gullible. We had, and she might, she might deny this, but Rose, Lavelle, and I have, I think she knows now, Lindsay knows now, but like for a couple years when you drive to, um, we drive to StubHub, but what's it called now? The Dig? The Dig? What's oh, the? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, dignity, dignity something? Dignity something? Divinity. D divinity like i know what you're talking about high, the, the, what's it called the dig the dig yeah, high full dig 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 health. Dig. anyway yeah, stop up home depot center oh yeah. when you uh, the when we go and we train there there's a sketchers um outlet store this big thing that says sketchers and we're like we're like oh Lindsay, you know that rose is going to be the first athlete to get like soccer cleats from sketchers <laughs> And this is when this is when this is when uh, Rose is looking to sign for uh, a footwear deal, and we were like, we we're like, Lindsay, oh, you know, like Rose Skechers. Loves Skechers, like she's obsessed with Skechers. Which see, but we made Lindsay think that Rose is obsessed with Skechers. <laughs> so this goes on for not one, not two, That's maybe not three true. years. Maybe three years. We're like, 
we're like Lindsay, like can we do you mind if we just go into the sketchers like outlet like just we just rose ones to look around so like we like sold this and we would go into the sketcher store like there's one on in manhattan beach we go past that big outlet we were like do you mind if we stop like rose really wants to stop she's really thinking about signing they, they, they'll make a cleat for her they'll do whatever and then Lindsay, <laughs> Lindsay, a couple times was just like I, I think i heard her like be like yeah you guys know like like rose might uh rose rose might sign with sketchers and i'm like <laughs> Oh my god, she actually thinks so. actually I think you might have been like we're like, yeah, Sketcher, she was no, I think I go, Oh, it doesn't Rose wanna like sign for Sketcher? And you were like, Yeah, like I think she does. Like she went in there the other day. That's so annoying. And I was like, No way, Lindsay. Shut so she up like that. Actually like Sketchers. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that like that that was like an <laughs> ongoing three year joke. They always do that to me. It's so annoying. <laughs> Oh, what's another one? It's a, yeah. it's, uh, I'm trying to think. Her, uh, Lindsay and Mal are both, like, pretty gullible. Mal like, is way worse than me. Like, you could say, you could say. Anything. Mallory Pugh, you're talking. Yes. 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 Pugh you could, is the most gullible. <laughs> you could be like. I'm right there's a, you could, We could all be at camp, and they could be like, yeah, you have to bring your own soccer ball. She'd be like, shut up. <laughs> Wait. And I'd be like, no, you have to bring your own soccer ball. She'd be like, yeah. I'll be, I'll be like, yeah, you better bring it. I bet she'd bring one. Okay, how, <laughs> how about when we got uh, Carly? Carly still doesn't know this. Um, but, we, were, we were in that, maybe in Florida somewhere, and they had those crazy chandeliers that look like um, prosthetic <laughs> legs. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good one. Chandeliers that look like prosthetic legs. They look like, they just, yeah, they look really. Like, it's like this really weird, like, they come down, they're kind of, like, U-shaped. It kind of looks like it fit, like, um, like it, a prosthetic leg. Like, oh, my gosh, yeah, those look like prosthetic legs. And Rose told me, and she had done this, like, ten times this camp already, and I looked at her, and I was like, <laughs> she was like, you know, the, <laughs> you know the pros the, that chandelier is prosthetic legs from veterans in world war whatever world war ii like world war one and, and she's like up. no way and, and i was like Lindsay. <laughs> and rose like had like a little smile on her face and i was like okay no and then she i was like just see if you can get carly because she was that right there she tells carly and carly's just like oh my god that's so cool this is like when like and then like one of us would like chime and be like oh yeah you, like, you didn't read that when you came into the hotel like that that's like on a plaque like outside the hotel like people like people know about this and they'd be like no way and i'm like yeah like i can't believe they gave us this room like <laughs> wait wait carly still doesn't know that you were taking the pi double s out of her as they say in england uh, <laughs> I, I honestly don't think so i think she was like looking no, at her, she's like wow and then adam and like our meal meal rooms too and i was like oh my gosh there's so many prosthetic legs <laughs> Like this is so cool. This All is history. these war heroes. Yeah, like this is history. Like look, look. <laughs> history all around. <laughs> well, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. Like Carly and like I'm trying to think. Like Kelly. Like they kind of don't. They they believe. Like they'll like just believe us. Like the young. <laughs> like the younger group. Like that Sam. Like Sam Rose. Us Mal. Like they'll just be like really. And then sometimes we'll just be like no. And then like sometimes we'll be like yeah. <laughs> like can you believe it and they're like no way like it's just like it's too easy they make it too easy well it's a role reversal so you think the veterans would be doing that to the younger <laughs> ones on the team but kelly's the worst though she she had one with jill with the was it that alligator do you remember oh that? like putting a joke putting a joke like putting a joke uh like to bed oh my gosh this was the funny this is the funniest thing kelly O'Hara has ever done <laughs> Um, we've, we, we, um, the hotel that we stay at in, in Florida, usually right before the sh she believes there's like alligators. And I think Jill had made a joke or like, we were just like, oh, the alley every year we're like, oh, the alligators getting bigger, bigger. Is it the same alligator? Is it blah, blah, blah. So like, this might've been like the second year or third year we came back and Jill had a presentation. It was like the first day of camp. Like, and, and Jill was trying to make a joke, like, and put a be, like a picture of a huge alligator like huge like you'd be like no way did that alligator grow you know six feet it's like a little baby and, it's, and then what, what is Joe is Joe like trying to say, say something she she was making a joke obviously but saying like this is the alligator now like we just caught like footage of him or something like that 
And then <laughs> what Kelly out of nowhere was like, yep, no way. That's not the alligator. <laughs> <laughs> like in the meeting, in the team meeting. And then Joe was Literally like, no one thought that was the actual. <laughs> yeah. Like no one thought. And then <laughs> Joe was like, yes, Kelly, I know. I was like trying to make a joke. <laughs> And Kelly was like, oh my God, like, like, like typical Kelly, like just like jumping to a conclusion and being like, no, like you're wrong. <laughs> oh, I get it. You were trying to make a joke. And then Joe was like, yeah, like I was, but like next slide. And we like carried on with the meeting. It was, it was actually, that was actually like pretty funny. That was good. Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Oh, wait, I do have another one, another meeting one. It's actually kind of short. Do you remember when I was like choking on water on the back? <laughs> Or I was choking on something. So this was like, this was during the victory tour this past World Cup we came. I think it was the first one in um, California. And we were just doing like simple film. Um, and I was like, I started like coughing in the back. And like, I, d I didn't have water. I don't know what I was like, I, I desperately needed water. Like I was like, it was like cough, 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 cough. And I was like, it was like an finally, finally like, like, I'm getting red. Like I have like my, my, like the veins in my neck are kind of popping and I go finally I go I go is anyone in water and then everyone like turns around and someone throws a water bottle I go I go guys I was coughing for like two minutes like what's your deal and like it was like deep cough <laughs> it's not like Jill stopped her like presentation or anything like so I just kept going I know I was like finally I was just like I need water like I can't get up and walk out at this point Wait, I like, can oh, I God, have that again me. how you ask for water please so I was like <laughs> If you ever get Rose on this, like, she would actually do it so well. Like, I was like, <clears throat> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and, like, Rose started cracking up, and, like, I don't even know who threw me water. It was, like, a half drink, and, like, probably, like, all backwash water that someone threw like, across the room. I was, I was, that was actually really funny. People were like, are you okay? I was like, oh, now you want to know? <laughs> now you guys want to know? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, carry on. Here we go. Here we go. Step pieces. Let's do this. <laughs> That was actually pretty funny. That was good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <clears throat> I think there's more funny ones like that, like meeting or like like really inappropriate times. Lens, you're one of arriving in Paris <laughs> that you wrote about in the Players oh. Tribune had me howling out loud. Come on, just give an audio version of it, please. Please. Give another go. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, it was my first time arriving to Paris, first ever time to France, and it was my mom and I, um, and, and you're like 18 years old, 17 years old? Yes. 17 and a half. 17 and a half, <laughs> um, um, and if anyone knows the Paris Charles de Gaulle airport, they don't have like escalators, it's literally like... I don't know what to call it. It looks like an escalator, but it's flat and it's like a big tube. And there's like three or four of them and they go up to baggage claim and they're very tiny. Like they're, they're skinny little tunnels, whatever. I'm and just thinking about it makes me giggle. <laughs> and I had these like, I, I can't even, these tennis shoes on at the time. And it was really cool to like not tie them and have the lace kind of out. Nice ones. Nice. Yeah, pretty in nice. style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and um, they were a little too out. Then I liked it, and um, I got to the very top, <laughs> and something, like, got caught. And these people were probably, like, 10 yards back from me. And I, was, I could not figure out, like, what was going on and, like, why I was stuck. And my mom, like, went through, and my mom was just like, come on, like, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing? And I was like, I'm, I'm stuck here. <laughs> like, I can't get out. And like, I just like didn't process it, like taking off the shoe or anything like that. Like I just was yanking on my foot, like trying to get it out. And I'm trying to remember now, like I think I, like as people started stumbling over me, like it, it was so small that people were like falling over me and they had like suitcases and, and stuff. So like they were hitting me and I was and speaking in French. And I had no idea what they were saying. And I'm like, no one's trying to help me either. Like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, of course, the French people will not help you. And I'm just like, oh my God, what do I do? So I yanked it as hard as I could. And it actually, like, it was, you know, the shoelace loops through these, like, things at the top, ripped all of them. So it's, like, you can't put a shoelace back through the shoe. So the shoelace is probably still in that escalator. Oh, you ripped, you ripped the whole, the, 
the yeah. shoelace holes in the shoes when you entirely ripped. yeah so you it can't like, so those, those that pair of shoe shoes were yeah they're done for and i just got them <laughs> as a for the sake of the story they're yeezys <laughs> <laughs> they were nike don't tell <laughs> Take a story. They were Yeezys, and I couldn't leave them, so I ripped them. I hadn't signed with Addy yet. Addy, Addy. Wait, wasn't there like, wasn't there like press trying to take your photo or something, or they were trying to? Oh, no, trying to. Oh, that would have been so funny, like a rival of Lindsay Horan, and you're yes. trying to like stuff your shoelace out of the. Out of the thing. Oh. Oh, that was good. Oh, we can't hear you, Lindsay. Do it again, oh, no. Lens. We couldn't hear you. Oh, I just, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my mom was just like over on the side cracking up, not. <laughs> so not, helping. not saving her daughter. No, and I'm pretty sure I cried. I got one. I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, guys, can I get some water? Yeah. You want to calm down back there? Water! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, that's good. Thank you for that. Yeah. All right. That was good stuff. I did hear a snort out of Julie oh, yeah. at some point, which <laughs> is the third reported snort in all of laughter permitted history. First one was Mia Ham. Next one was Brandy Chastain and Christine Lilly. And we now have on record a third snort. It's always been the soccer gals. Yeah. It's, I'm, we're, we just, we're part of something special right now. <laughs> I feel good about my day. I've completed my day. Oh, <laughs> that was on that was on your checklist. That was on your little notes. Make Julie you just... snort. Make, Make Julie, Julie snort. Snort. Bucket lister. Nice. Um, any other stories before we move on to our last question? Let you guys roll. Do you want to tell the switch one? Oh yeah. Um, do we want to? Is that is that funny? Is that like? I don't want it to. I don't, I don't want that to come off as like oh, they could get free switches, and then they got free switches. And then now they don't play their switches. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. It is funny. It's funny to, like, if we were, like, you're, like... No, no I, I think it's funny. I think it's funny. You think fun. it's funny? Yeah. What is a switch? Should I know this? Um, it's, like, the portable Nintendo gaming system. Uh, okay. It's like, back... Becky plays a lot. Tobin's got it. You want to play Mario Kart. That's what we were doing. Lindsay got it. play it. Yeah, Lindsay. Well, I think the funniest part of like the Switch story, not like the actually getting at and then getting gifted a Switch, is that Lindsay randomly, we were playing like Mario Kart. You can play online, you get all these points, you know, you can get, uh, you get put in these different like essentially chat rooms to like play with like people, you know, really, really good like in France or like Japan or like wherever. And then like just like one, we were all about it for like two months, give or take. And one day Lindsay like this is like during warm-up in Portland and like one day Lindsay was just like no like I'm not doing that anymore I go I go I'm so confused like you're not gonna play switch anymore she's like no I'm not gonna do it anymore I don't want to do it and I was just like so like I go so like if you just want to play like in a month like for one day like a Friday night like play Mario Kart she's like no I'm over no I won't play I will not play and like and, 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 and period finished and I was like I don't get that and we like it was like a conversation like probably like, at water breaks like, in, like at that training i was just like i don't get it like like why are you so why are you cutting this off why are you cutting the fun off like i don't get like why you're doing this to me like obviously it's an attack on me i was just like why like what like what what's happened the last oh, two months Nate saw it like this she's still fussy about it yeah like why are you breaking up this switch relationship like i was like i want to play online all the time and she was like no it's over and i was just like i was like okay so then i found and then i made other friends buy the switch and we started playing um mario kart well she might pick it back up we're not sure i don't think she's pretty, that serious about it she just needs a little break yeah, just like a year or two. Do you have it with you right now? No, I. Well, neither I, do I. I sent it to Orlando and like you, because I wouldn't like, play. They, they like closed the border to Georgia to Orlando or to Florida because everyone's <laughs> you trying can't to get your switch. Well, yeah, I can't get it. Or like, uh, yeah, it's like I'm just like I can't drive all the way down there because I shipped everything there. Wait, ah. Lens, why did you give it up? I just. <laughs> 
I think I said it to someone <laughs> because I was like over it that day. Like, really, maybe I lost. I hate. Like I'm really good at Mario Kart. I think, especially on like Nintendo 64. Did you guys play that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Are you asking me? <laughs> I hope I did. Come on, Jewel. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I did. No, okay. I'm I, not a big gamer. I was the best. And then people were beating me and I didn't really enjoy it that much. And then I was like, I don't want my life to be revolved around the Switch. But it didn't have to be. It was just a couple hours. <laughs> Maybe I was protecting myself from letting it be. Yeah. This one, uh, yeah. I, I can see you've really taken this well, Sonnet, years <laughs> later. Well, Lindsay, is, I think I think it comes down to Lindsay is really competitive. I have like this belief of like I cannot be as competitive as a soccer field outside of soccer. Like I I need yeah. to like I need to separate a little bit. So like I play the switch, but I'm not that competitive. But I think Lindsay that <laughs> pours into every single. If we played, I bet Scrabble at the Horan's household gets wild. Oh, it was it was bad last week. Yeah, I just think everything that Lindsay does, it's like oh yeah. Yeah, like, Sonnet won't, like, compete. I'm beating everyone right now. What? Like, we'll play ping pong, but you won't try because you don't want to be competitive and lose. No. <laughs> no, no, I want to eventually beat you offhanded. <laughs> I'll start playing ping pong and I'll play offhanded, and I go, oh, do you want me to switch to my right? <laughs> and she's like, what? You were playing with your left? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, oh but I am not left-handed. <laughs> it's Princess Bride. <laughs> That's never happened. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay is Lindsay is the best ping pong player on the team. If we're just gonna spitball off this, um, like she's real, like Lindsay's really good. I so hope, if you find someone else on here that wants to play her, I've been trying to. I've oh, that's a funny story. I got to the we went. I went to the training room and I was like, "Hey, who in here?" Like talking to the athletic trainers, talking to our PT, the masseuses. I was like, "Who's good at ping pong? Like who's good? Because you're gonna beat <laughs> Lindsay Haran. Like this this camp, you're gonna do it. We had a ping pong table at the hotel and." One guy, uh, Carlos, our PT, went and bought, like, proper uh, ping pong paddles, the proper balls, like, the nice ones. And, like, he trained all week. He's like Forrest Gump. Never even oh, he, he trained all week. And I was like, you know, we work on your footwork. We got to do this. <laughs> a lot of hip stuff. Get, you know, you know, got to get you know, technique. Top spin. Um, top spin. Did he end it? No. I think Lindsay, like, creamed him. <laughs> no, I didn't even play him. I played what? I played Julia in the day of the game. Who was? Oh, maybe together. Carlos got scared and was like, "Julia, you might want to take this one." But Julia, oh, Carlos. Was <sighs> I played Julia in the day. See, that's so disapp- that's so disappointing. Yeah, Lindsay. But here, Lindsay's really good at ping pong. If you can find anyone to play Lindsay in ping pong, like that's my goal. That's probably my next goal. Listen up, Tobin. <laughs> what? Listen up, Tobin. Oh yeah, Tobin's pretty good too. I'm but sure. Can- Wait, who wins in a Tobin? Haran ping pong off. We have varies. played each other. You haven't played each other? No, what? but Tobin has like her, um, what's it called? Personal ping pong battle. Yeah. <laughs> and she's she used to bring, she brings it to the Portland locker room and they play ping pong before, but I don't, mm-hmm. she's never played you. Ooh, that's the matchup then. That oh. might be matched up. We gotta <laughs> shoot that. Yeah, so no. We can make that happen. <clears throat> they can make it happen, Lens. Keep training. <laughs> <laughs> Keep training. Keep playing with your what? Our feet. Yeah. It's going to be Lindsay Horan asked what she's done all quarantine. Bank pong. She what has a, she has a, you know, yeah. Or just use the wall. You have a headband, a sweatband, and you're just against the wall like this, like double hand, <laughs> like double handed, like this, like for hours. I could see Tobin doing that. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I can see Tobin totally doing that. Like, like sitting crisscross applesauce. Like in one, <laughs> but in one hand painting, and the other hand ping pong ball, ping pong balls against the, against the, <laughs> against the wall. And she's like, she's got eyes like split, advanced. eyes like split, so she can do that while whilst checking her shoulder for runners. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I bet she's all about that. <laughs> oh, oh man, so good. Well, you guys haven't been funny at all, so we might. Yeah, some- yeah. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to cut this whole episode. I know I sensed that out of your reactions. <laughs> we can cut this and do it again. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time. And we have been asking all of our guests for this episode, the same question at the end here, which is, what is something that you have a newfound appreciation for? 
in the midst of the crazy. Newfound appreciation for proper coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next time I go to a coffee shop, I'm going to look at the barista yeah. in the eyes and, and I'm going to say, like, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like more like a funny like more of a funny I I think I think I'm with my parents so like now I'm spending a whole heck of a lot more time like we're like we, everyone's taking walks you guys have probably seen that like I, n- now just like actually having the time and like it's not a rushed time um that I actually can be home and like actually spend time at home and it's not me constantly going out seeing friends or um what else whatever else I do outside the house so I think I'm really taking time to like really sit down with my parents because I don't really get to do that that often because we're always on the road yeah I nailed it hot lens you're good (laughs) (laughs) well I was just gonna say like working out and the things that we have accessible to us like in our clubs and national team like it's been so difficult and like we obviously don't know when things are gonna get better or whatnot so it's kind of like we're in this gray area of what we do and what we can do and what we have and like finding ways to work out and using different things and not having a gym and like it's it's so hard so I, I just like appreciate having a gym and a field and doing um, what I, would, I want I would say too like just like teammates in general like having your dad go out and like throw you volleys and that being like your only option and you're like oh, where did 23 22 of my best friends go yeah. <laughs> like i need, I need yeah but yeah uh, that's... that was good friends have you been doing zoom at all with teammates yes mm. we have zoom we use google Conference meets hmm. you, use zoom, you, zoom, you zoom you zoom at with portland with the torrents yes the torrents Dang, we use Google Meet. Her, it's like one step above. I, mean, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. I know. I was gonna say, oh, I feel like Sonnet should be allowed in that one. <laughs> yeah, I might like, put, her put on. me on a side. Put me on a sidebar. No, just. Kidding. Um, no, we've been. We've. Been, yeah, have you had a lot? We've had so many team meetings. It's been nice though. Really? So, mm-hmm. Yeah. We 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 talk about stuff, Lens. <laughs> yeah. Tactics. Yeah. <laughs> Tactics. <laughs> yeah watch out watch out the prides baby here we go uh, all right you two thank you so much for taking the time thank you of course thanks for so having fun me. to hear from you both stay safe yeah. it was fun stay thanks healthy. for asking us you too you're welcome you're gonna be on next week Woo! Two. no two we're just gonna keep calling you every week <laughs> <laughs> more <laughs> stories <laughs> I need water <laughs> I need water more stories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Thank you guys you are guys. amazing. All right. Cool. Thank you. Adios. Bye. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, no problem.